Okay, August has been a crazy, crazy month, so let's just go ahead and talk about it. Hi, this is Brittany, and you're watching Locked Queen Bee. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're going to be giving you guys an update on my hair since I big chopped it one month ago. So a little bit of backstory, um, in case you haven't watched any of my other videos, I cut my hair on um, July 29th. I was supposed to be taking my locks down, but I just went ahead and decided that I didn't want to do that anymore and I cut my hair. So I'm finally, finally one month post and August has been a very interesting month. So my hair, if you can see from this picture here, my hair um, was very short, is very short, and I am missing hair in some places. So my concern back then was, are these bald spots or are these just spots that I just cut my hair extremely low? Um, so I do have some good updates for you guys. My hair has definitely grown a little bit since then. It's not as patchy looking as it um, used to be, but there's still some areas that I want to grow out a little bit more and fill in. So I'm happy with where I am now, but I do know that there's a long way for me to go from here. So let's go ahead and do a 360 so you guys can see what my hair looks like now. Okay, so that was a 360 of my hair. So the areas that I really want to focus on is definitely all over just growing out the pieces that are shorter so that the longer, the only way that they would catch up to the pieces of hair that's longer is if I trim them. And right now I'm not going to trim anything. I'm just going to continue to grow my hair. And then eventually at some point, maybe right before I do my installation, that's when I'm going to trim so that it's a little bit more even. So the areas that I want to focus on are um, the front of my left side. So my left side has always been thinner than my right side. And so when I had locks, what I hated, hate, hated about the left side was that the left side, it always looked neat no matter how far grown out my hair was. Or like if I was like at six weeks and I was due for my retightening, this side always looked pretty neat and organized. Whereas this side, it just looked like a messy afro. And I think a lot of it has to do with the density um, on both sides. So this hair is less density and it's um, thinner. And I think it's because of maybe traction alopecia, whereas this side, it has a little bit of damage to it, but it's much fuller. And so, I definitely want to focus on growing out both sides so that they're not as short and they're longer. My hair on the right side compared to the left side is a little bit shorter and that's because I went in after I big chopped, I went in with a trimmer and shaved it down even more which is kind of stupid. It wasn't even and all of that so my left side is definitely a little bit longer and you can see that I have some longer pieces. Like this is a long piece. Um, so my hair, right now I have a lot of pieces of hair that just like stick straight up. They don't curl or anything. And I'm not sure what that's about. It could just be the hair texture. It could be that those hairs just need to be a little bit longer before they start to curl. So um, throughout my head, you'll see pieces of hair that stick straight up. And then you'll actually see pieces of hair that are clumped together and have a curl. So what I want to talk about now is what I've been doing to grow my hair. So I've been really into using hair teas. I've been talking about the Crown Elixir. I love the Crown Elixir. So if you ever get a chance and their website is back up, go ahead and check out that website. And if you have the money to spend about $30 to $40 per bottle and you're trying to actively grow your hair, definitely check out that product. I've used that product, the website is down and I can't really order anything. So I've decided to go the route of making hair teas to see what that will do for my hair. So annoyingly enough, my sister has been begging me, begging me to use her hair teas. And I'm like, no, you know, I want to use the crown elixir. I know it's working for me and da 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 da. And so I was never really on the wagon of wanting to try that. 
and now after i don't have my locks anymore the crown elixir is not available i'm willing to try it and so um so far it's been working out i started with the fenugreek water and msm mix first and then now i've upgraded to just using a bunch of herbal tea and so let me actually go grab the tea that i have brewing now so what you can see what that looks like okay so before i show you the mix that i have brewing so this is just how i'm keeping my um herbs and my leaves so this is hibiscus i do have peppermint rosemary orange peel i have lavender and i have nettle so i have six of these i have green tea coming green tea is not technically an herb um so i can use it a little bit differently than i would the ayurvedic herbs there, there's science behind it but um i just wanted to point out that green tea is not technically an ayurvedic herb whatever um so i'm super excited because um, these are all ingredients that are going to help me grow my hair. Some of it's going to help with um, blocking DHT and things like that. And so this is the mix that I have brewing. Let's give it a good shake. So you can see that this is everything I've used at the bottom. And then this is a mixture of what I'll actually spray on my hair. And so what's in this is actually the six um, herbs and leaves that I mentioned. Plus fenugreek, MSM, and then aloe vera juice. And so... I've actually been using different combinations of this for the past, almost for the past month, and um, I have a big jars. So this is one of my smaller jars, but I have, this is a half gallon, I think. I have a jar of a gallon, and that's of peppermint, rosemary, and nettle. So I went crazy and bought a pound of that, and so I have a lot. And what's good about that is that I won't have to buy more of those three, whereas with the hibiscus, when that runs out, I'm going to have to buy more. And so um that's something that's been interesting for me because i could have started out with a smaller um package or a smaller amount um but i didn't really think about that and then i'm kind of anticipating that i'll be using this for a while because if i don't use this i'll just go back to using plain water which is totally fine and then i don't really think i want to buy store-bought products so right now having natural ingredients is working for me and so what i'm gonna do with this is just has been studying overnight i actually could not sleep last night and i wanted to make another combination of this um spray and so at like 11 p.m last night 12 a.m last night i got up and made this so that i could um put this together this morning and then spray it on my hair and so this has been sitting for about maybe nine to ten hours and um what will happen is if i let it sit longer the fenugreek will absorb some of the water and so i'll have less water to work with so i don't want to let it sit for too long and so i've been spraying that on my hair about um one to two times a day sometimes i've gone up to four days four times a week and that's only if it's been like a weak mixture i have noticed some irritation but only in the back of my hair here and so i've just been putting aloe vera um juice on it so right now what i'm trying to figure out is like the formula or like how i want to do the recipe for this mixture and right now what i use was at first i was putting a tablespoon of everything and like um 16 ounces of, of water but what i decided to do is do a hair blend so basically a mixture of all of the ingredients that i'm using and then just doing like three tablespoons and 16 ounces of water because before i was doing up to like 15 to 20 tablespoons and that's a lot in 16 ounces of water i wasn't really sure how all of that was absorbing into the water and so that was a concern of mine and so last night i just whipped up this blend and we're going to use that and see how it goes and so something that i really need to work on is stop making formulas and recipes i just need to stick with one thing see if that works i know that two weeks my sister was saying that i should wait a month but i know that two weeks is a good time frame because two weeks within two weeks is when i could see growth with the crown and elixir so that i never something is working for me it should happen around those two weeks Alrighty, okay, so um, that's what I wanted to give you an update on when it comes to hair teas. I also finally have the hair that I'm going to be using for my lock extension. So this is transitioning to a completely unrelated topic, kind of. Um, but the hair is here. This is the hair that I ordered from AliExpress. I've already opened the package and played with it a little bit. And I think that this hair is actually pretty good quality. I went crazy and got 18 inch. Um... I'm still playing around with how I'm going to actually attach it to my hair, but we can talk about that later. But I just want to show you the quality of the hair. 
So this is how the hair looks and then I'm not going to stretch it now because I don't want it to be stretched out. So I did play around with a piece here. So this is what the hair looks like. So this is not how it naturally looks. Um, I actually took two pieces and combined them together. But you can see that there's a lot of stretch. So it's going to split right there where I combined it. And so the hair is very soft. Um, there's like some um, like red pieces in it, which I don't really care too much about. But this is probably how the hair would look um, stretched out. And what I need to do is, so say if this is how the original piece looked, you can see that it's not going to stretch very far. This is not a good piece to work with because it's been stretched out so many times. But what I plan to do is either fold it and then braid down like that, which we'll see how that works out. The other thing that I can do is take two pieces and this is not going to be exactly how I'm going to do it since I played around with these two pieces. I'm going to overlap it like this. I'm going to crochet one side through and then braid down. So it's a little bit longer and it will allow me to get the full like 18 inches kind of of this hair. But um, yeah, so I'm excited to see how this is going to work out. The What gave me the inspiration to do this is there's somebody on Instagram. Her um, name is Braids That Speak. Braids That Speak, if I'm doing that, if I'm saying that correctly. And basically what she does is just add human hair onto your hair and either does bell micro locks or bell micro braids or bell braids, whatever. Um, so I really want to do that because I'm kind of tired of having short hair. I really want to have long hair again and I really wish that I had discovered all of this maybe like a year and a half ago because, or just never have cut my hair in the first place, but I really wish that I discovered this um, much sooner because when I did have hair that was long enough for me to kind of have more flexibility with, this would have been much easier. So. Yeah, so I just wanted to show you the hair that I'm going to be using. This is 100% um, kinky human hair bulk. So this is basically straight hair that has been processed to curl. Um, you can dye it, you can wash it, you can do all of the stuff that you can do with this that you can't do with synthetic hair. So if you are trying to do um, micro lock extension, used human hair because that will just last you longer in um the long run and then it will also kind of like lock and mess with your hair where synthetic hair will not something else that i want to point out about this hair is that it is actually going to be very lightweight the way that i'm going to be doing it and the way that braids that speaks does it um because when you have the lock extensions that are like crocheted and they're like pre-made that takes up a lot of hair so like this you can see how much hair this is and maybe it doesn't seem like a lot but like a pack like this would make 20 locks so if you have 400 locks and that's just one pack is 20 locks that's a lot of hair that you're putting on your hair and so with this method i'm not really sure how many packs i'm going to use i'm hoping that i only used maybe two packs of hair but that really depends because I have no experience with this and so I'm just praying that maybe I can do two packs or I have three packs and so I just want to be able to use work with the three that I have and not have to buy another pack so hopefully I can stay within two and a half packs and we'll just leave it at that so my goal with this is to maybe get my hair to about right here and then have it shrink up a little bit to where it's like right at my shoulders or just a little bit above it it could be even longer i don't know but um i just want to have longer length this time around and then grow it out so yeah so i wanted to talk about the hair that i got because i know that i mentioned that in the last video and i didn't actually have the hair and so yeah so to wrap up this video that was an update on one month post big chop i'm definitely looking forward to um the month of september because this is where i'm still going to be kind of like in the baby stages of growing up my hair so i'm not expecting to see too much length but at the same time i definitely want to grow at least half an inch or more if i can and then fill in the areas that need to be filled in and then October I'm hoping to also gain at least half an inch or more so that when November comes around I have two inches of hair 
if not more um i am kind of concerned that maybe i won't be able to do my hair by november so maybe all of november and december i'll be still trying to grow my hair and then maybe i can do something in january but we'll just see what happens when those months come along and yeah so thank you so much for watching um i hope this video was helpful for you if you have big top if you're working with lock extension if you're using ayurvedic herbs to grow your hair so if you have any questions for me leave them in the comment section below and thank you for watching bye guys